I've said this a couple of times recently, medium is the message that Eric Silverman talked at the yes, U Powered Benefits conference the other day, and he utilized that on a slide. And I think I it, like it clicked with me. Yeah. I get what he means by that. But so in terms of medium for you guys, we talk social media, we talk perhaps placemats or things like that. But talk to me, make a couple of the most effective outlets for communicating these types of messages for you guys. Video. Video. I mean, the amount of people that are digesting content today on video, they're going to watch your video for 6 seconds, 10 seconds. They may even give you 15 seconds. They're not going to give you that long when it comes to pieces in front of them. When you send a piece, make it personal. Make it something that actually is going to come out to them. You know, we use a, a sales box. You know, something that we'll send out. It's got a personal note in it. It has a, an item in it and is completely branded for Ocasio. That's something that people go ship directly to their door. They're like, hey, thank you for thinking about me. Very cool. It's very personal. Um, so video, personalized sales gifts, and just going back to personal marketing collateral. I think often you take something and you pull it out of your trunk and you go and say, here you go. This is really what you need. But in all reality, if you can customize and personalize something to someone, they're going to be much more apt to read it. Yeah, and it really is just like, what is that initial hook that gets them to actually stop and look? You know, because we're all scrolling. Even LinkedIn, unfortunately, has the scrolling yeah. effect where it's just like you just bypass content, and if it doesn't get you, and instantaneously yeah. you move on from it, which is a, a struggle. Um, but, you know, I've seen a lot of that happen where there will be companies that curate these really nice and beautiful uh, pamphlets or e-brochures and they look great but when you see the same people from that organization just keep reposting the same thing and you know it might have been out there for a couple of days and two people have liked it you know what that tells me is that that method of communicating uh, your value proposition yeah. is maybe dying a little bit or isn't appropriate for that setting maybe that's the better uh, way to put it yeah I think you hit on it not all mediums are made for everything yeah. and I think that you know we often think we can take a brochure or take a flyer and post it on the LinkedIn and it's going to create this giant stir. In all reality, people don't want to click on a PDF embedded within LinkedIn yep. unless it's going to give them some value. Now, if you're creating some kind of riveting stat that they can use and they can leverage, then I may click on it. But if you're just talking in general terms and trying to put a bunch of things, people's attention spans are different. And candidly, they'd much rather look at everything else that's on LinkedIn than that, one in four to one in six ads now in my feed, I was looking at this recently, is an ad. It's okay. a sponsored post. Hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been on LinkedIn a long, long time. It used to not be like that. But now what we're seeing is those sponsored posts are coming in there. And I can tell you, we use sponsored mm -hmm. posts. They're an extremely effective medium. But what's happening is it's somewhat desensitizing people in reading every post. Well, and that's, yeah. that's why we were talking earlier about this, you know, talk, communicating value system. Uh, you talked about maybe seeing a picture of family and things like yeah. that. I actually did a video uh, a couple months back where I went back and looked at my top categories for posts, yeah. personal by I far and away. And it was just, for me, it was kind of that proof of concept. And so personal to me means there's a message that underlies a picture. Why did I include that picture? That may be the thing that gets somebody to stop, the medium, yeah. but the message itself that I want hopefully somebody to click and deliver. And what the reason why I think it's worked so well is exactly what you're describing is if my feed is just full of maybe sponsored posts, but I catch something catches my eye that's a little bit different and I stop. Yep. You know, it's, it's the antithesis of what people maybe are being in, inundated with uh, right now. And so so I'm just, I'm testing these things I as it. I go, but I'm collecting the data and I'm finding what works. And I do think people, like you said, want to know who they're doing business with. If the line is blurred between work and home or even your office in your home, then why not be a little bit more personal in that setting, but yeah. still have it relate to what you actually do as a professional yeah. as well.